Let's welcome the team behind Land Hub. We have this odd couple, and so we thought it'd be really fun to make a comedy in this beautiful, surreal landscape. It's not typical, so that's why. And also, we just thought it'd be really cool to shoot a movie in a foreign country. Seeing it now, I really remember why we shot it in Iceland. Beautiful. I mean, it's, this is the first time either of us has seen it just watching the film. We, we really wrapped production uh, in the middle of October, and so we've just been doing everything to get this film ready for you to watch here, and so we've never ever watched it before, uh, just ever. watching it. <laughs> uh, certainly not with this many people. Uh, any questions? They turned me loose. <laughs> but they knew when to draw the line. <laughs> and that basically is how the film went. <laughs> I would say that, like, I'd say like 50% is pretty scripted, 25 is loose, and 25 is improvised. Exactly. I have a very dirty mind. <laughs> uh, uh, yes. How much of this is close to your real personality? Guys, <laughs> another question for you guys. This is me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the same person every day. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and um, I don't know, I think that I look at that and I go, that maybe that's me. Um, but I think it's yeah, maybe me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I mean, Aaron and I actually, it was about the kind of a concept in wanting to take these two guys to Iceland. So when we wrote the script, we were writing with both of them in mind. So. I mean, Martha's original idea for the movie was let's take Earl into Iceland. And then. <laughs> 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 we oh. <laughs> well, that, listen, the idea was, we, was before Sundance last year. It was January, right before. And then Aaron and I saw This is Martin Bonner, which Paul's amazing in. <laughs> And so it was, we, like, we needed Erlin, and we needed someone to, to pair up with Erlin that could keep pace with Erlin and be just as awesome. So we saw Martin Bonner, and we were like, let's fall. <laughs> yeah, and, and also I think that uh, Martha and I, as co-directors, also kind of inhabit different sides, or they have different, very different personalities, and uh, are opposites in Yes, yeah, he's the Colin and I'm the bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just continue that on? <laughs> um, Sarah, M Martha would be firing things at him, like going, <laughs> and then he, he would hit me with something out of nowhere. <laughs> and I would have to respond, and, and this young man, he would gently come up and, and make a suggestion. It was really a great directing team, the best I've ever worked with. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. So, uh, 
Everybody wanted to know how long that Paul and I had been friends. They thought we, of course, this is the first time I've ever seen the movie. I mean, really. And I hope y'all enjoy it. I love all of the, um, the movie references. Um, that there's just like, these are sort of broad minded cinephiles. And I, I'm just curious what the sort of how and why there's that a through line. Because I thought it was really cool. I mean, we enjoyed playing with uh, different pop culture references. And also, most movies don't reference other movies, but in life, we always talk about movies and music and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and uh, yeah, we really like movies from, well, like watching movies on VHS from the 80s and 90s. <laughs> so that's, uh, we were excited to include things like a reference to the mask. <laughs> of course, location, what was your biggest obstacle that you had to overcome? Probably the, was, would you say, the last scenes in Land Man and Lager? Yeah, the Just last scenes of the campsite. The campsite, because it was, you know, there's no hotels around there, so we would have to drive an hour in, and the road was just like you saw, and that was like the smoothest part. It was just like potholes, and so everybody would feel really jumbled and sick by the time we got to set. And then there was like no holding place. So we were all just kind of exposed all day long, and it was really cold, and it rained one day. And it's just like the elements. Iceland has unpredictable weather, so. I was going to be really careful. I had to spend an hour and a half in the car <laughs> with my best friend. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's it, not until I saw this film the first time tonight did I realise how much I love this guy. <laughs> you know, I was trying to say earlier, everybody thinks we've known each other for years. We just met each other September, I guess, or so May. May, when we did the first little tiny bit in Kentucky, about five miles from my house. And, uh, but we just kind of hit it off, you know. And he's a nice man, believe it or not. <laughs> the, elements, the elements really brought us together, I think. And we all were staying in the same place, we're very close together, and all experiencing the same things. And uh, even though Martha had visited a few places uh, when she scouted in March of last year, um, for almost all of us, it was just a completely new experience, everything that we saw. <laughs> um, that scene was like the big pressure cooker scene, and it's, it's weird to be doing a scene that has so much like focus on it, at least between the three of us, and at the same time have it be so silly, you know what I mean? Like there's a lot of us like, I think it needs more synth bass, definitely more synth bass, lots of, lots of that. Um, but there's a good story that maybe I only know part of, that I, I kind of wrote that and we sent it out to the scene and then I had done a temporary vocal on it that was really miserable and these guys told me, I wasn't there for the shoot, but they told me that on the last night there was like a rap party where one of the producers was doing karaoke. You felt it, Um Our, our props woman, Ola Benedictor, uh, got up and killed Destiny's <laughs> child yeah. at karaoke. Um, anyway, so we came up with the idea to have her record the vocals with some. Yeah, so I sent the stems to Iceland and, and got back a bunch of awesome uh, stuff and kind of pieced together her vocal into that song. Questions about the scene in the scene? Yes. We didn't have a script for that one. There was no script for that. Sorry. <laughs> 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 That scene, the thing was this, this gallery we had a rotating, we didn't know what was going to be there. So we, when we saw the nude, we were like, bingo. <laughs> but the best was that the artist was there the whole time. <laughs> Dissected her work. <laughs> that lady wasn't very excited about some of the things I said. <laughs> the, um... I remember the Stevie Nicks reference, it was like, shit. <laughs> There's no coming back as your foil. There's no coming back from that one. Let me see that one. Uh, and just quickly, can I just say, this crew have, have, I've worked with a lot of people, and I love them all, but this has been the best production.
that I had worked on. It's just from start to finish. Take that, Martin Bonner. <laughs>